Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today, we're gonna get a little toasty. We're gonna get a little lightly charred, as it were. We're gonna try the new Basil Hayden Toasted. They have changed the uh, mash bill up a little bit. They added some brown rice and switched some things around the mash bill and they went to a toasted barrel. And uh, they say toasted wood, vanilla, and a light mouth feel with a finish of sweet caramel. Let's see. Boop. You know what? As I was just waving this around, I caught a little sniffy of it. A little sniffy sniff. I don't know. The sniffy sniff wasn't terrible. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, some of you probably know this, but I shoot these videos in batches. And usually I like to start with a starter whiskey just to get my palate warmed up to the idea of drinking whiskey. And I usually go with a relatively low proof, 80 to 100 proof. I usually stay in that range for the starter whiskey just to get myself warmed up. Don't want to blow out the palate. Um, this is an 80 proof whiskey. So, barely a bourbon. 40%, 80 proof. So I figured we'll use this as today's starter whiskey and warm myself up. The nose is pretty solid. The nose is nice. Caramel. Maybe a little cashew nut. It's not, oh, that sip was going back more towards the peanut, more towards a salty peanut. It's, it's like peanut shell. It's like salty peanut shell, caramel. There's a, a little fruit hanging out there that's real light and it's, it's kind of tropical, maybe, maybe a little banana, maybe a little almost apricot, like, but dry, like dried, like dried fruit, like a little dried banana, a little dried apricot. It actually smells pretty nice. This might make a nice intro whiskey for someone who's just getting into bourbon. I'm kind of picking up on a little bit of that brown rice, so that little different grain that's happening there. I, I don't know that I could pick it out in a lineup, but I can tell that there's something different happening here. And um, they played with brown rice in one of the little book chapters. I think it was four or five, four, I think. And yeah, it was four. Five's the one coming. Um, and it, it was it was different. I'll give it that, but I'm kind of recognizing that note here and, and you know that they have that in common. Well, let's taste it. Okay. The nose is a lot better than the palate. The palate gives you that Jim Beam nutty mouth feel, like the kind of feel that's in your mouth after chewing a whole handful of, of mixed nuts, and but not really the flavors of the nut. It's just like the feel, the waxy, kind of grainy, gritty. Um, I'm trying to think of another word for that, <laughs> that feeling, but... When you go back to the nose, it's a little chemically, it's a little, it smells a little more artificial after tasting it. A couple sips in, the the palate is just like drinking water. It's there's a little tingle of spice in the finish, but it's so 
it's just so down the hatch. The flavors just, they hit, there's a little, little bitter spice that hits you if you kind of Kentucky chew it. But the flavors just kind of zoom past without giving you a really big or lasting impression. They, they're just a, a little, eh, it's a little, eh, it's just, eh. I don't know. Hmm. I'm conflicted because I go to the nose and the nose is interesting, but the palate doesn't hold your attention. So I guess that's the best way to describe it. Nose is nice. It might be a good intro whiskey. It just isn't going to hurt you. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of spice. So if you're new to bourbon, this bottle's not going to hurt your feelings. It's not going to kill you with high alcohol and lots of proof. It's going to give you some flavors some bourbon flavors, but they're gonna, it's gonna be a different angle on bourbon because of that rice in the, in the blend. So it's not gonna super familiarize you with other bourbons. So anyway, it's definitely not bad, but it's not great either. <clears throat> so there it is. Until next time, have a great day.